Hey guys, um, I have a new review here for you. This is going to be on the Benchmade Model 420 uh, resistor folder. Uh, before I get started, I have something to say. Um, I should, should have probably waited to um, do my update video for this, but I figure most of my subscribers watch all my videos anyway, so at least, you know, if you're, you're watching this now, you'll, you'll get this little bit of information. Uh, my camera. Uh, something I actually just noticed, and uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, actually read this in the, um, the owner's manual. When I get different electronics and stuff like that, I always try to read the full owner's manual to, you know, understand what's going on. But in this case, this camera, I didn't, I just kind of skipped through it. One of the features which I cannot actually turn off on this camera is um, when I'm in video mode here. Um, if I move, if my main object, if it moves the camera follows it a little bit, okay? Uh, in other words, a lot of people ask me if I actually have a camera mounted on my head, because as I do videos, the camera's moving around, but hey, I got both my hands, you know, in, in frame, so they're wondering why it's moving. And I had always actually thought to myself and responded with, my camera's just sensitive, and because it's on a tripod and I have a wood floor, perhaps, you know, my feet moving a little bit, it's kind of helping it move too. But actually I realized that it's, it's a function in the camera itself. I'm going to put this knife, if you look right here, okay, to the left of the camera on screen, uh, the knife is just, you know, just in frame, okay, you have a little bit of sliver of uh, table showing uh, above the knife. Now, my hand, okay, I'm not touching the camera, and I'm not moving my body whatsoever, but as I move my hand, you'll see that the camera follows it a little bit, okay, it's following the moving object. I know that's it's really really strange. Even if just I have my finger here, it moves just a little bit. But see how if it's a bigger object like this, the back of my hands, it's kind of moving with it a little bit. It's very strange, uh, <laughs> but I just noticed it and I wanted to throw that out there and let everyone know. Hey, that's why my uh, my camera's kind of moving around a little bit. So I apologize if that's annoying. I cannot figure out how to shut the feature off if it, if I even can. Uh, it's only in video mode. Obviously, when I'm taking a picture, it doesn't affect it. But I apologize for wasting the first two minutes of the video just talking about that. So let's get on to the knife. Um, all right, the knife, like I said, it's a Benchmade Model 420 uh, resistor folder. It is a snowy design. Um, it, a very interesting knife. I really like this a lot. Uh, of course, it has the access lock. Um, I actually just made a video on how the access lock works, and I use this exact same knife. Uh, so if you want to see this knife taken apart a little bit <laughs> and learn about how the Benchmade access lock works, uh, check that out. Just search Axis, A-X-I-S, and then Cutlery Lever, because uh, I use my name on uh, as a tag for all my videos. Uh, this knife, uh, can, you can easily flick the blade out. Um, you can also, like I said, you can use the Axis lock to open it and close it, you know, if you wanted to. A little flick of the wrist. Um, this knife has what's called a Gotham Swedge. That's this uh, the Swedge design on this. Pretty wicked looking. Uh, it's a clip point, modified clip point blade. Um, the handle itself, it has aluminum, uh, it's kind of thick aluminum scales, as well as uh, G10 overlays, okay? And that's what this is called. It's called an overlay because it's a scale uh, on top of the handles. Um, if it was recessed in the handles where it was even, in that case, it would be an inlay. And oftentimes, uh, um, you know, when people are talking about inlay, they'll, they'll say inlay, even if it's an overlay like this, but it's just a quick confusion on words. This is considered an overlay. Um, pocket clip. It has a, um, a deep pocket clip, uh, meaning that the pocket itself will go all the way up to the end of the knife, so the only thing exposed, whoops, sorry, I'll frame. The only thing exposed is the um, clip itself. No knife is exposed, no knife handle. And this is actually pretty interesting how they did this. They use these, uh, a cutout in the overlay itself. Um, so you put the pocket clip down underneath, it's, it, it's underneath the overlay part, the G10, but it's actually on top of the, um, the handle frame itself. And of course you have a, a cutout in the, uh, in the pocket clip itself so you can access those screws to tighten it down. Um, it's only, uh, you're only able to carry this in a tip-up position like this, but you can reverse it from uh, left or right side carry. Okay, so that is switchable or swappable, but not a tip-down uh, configuration. Um, I really like this knife a lot, you know, just like any other Benchmade access lock, it's very smooth. Uh, let me actually just adjust my camera a little bit here. Sorry about that. Uh, it's it's very smooth knife, um, you know, 154 CM blade, 
uh, you know, very good performing steel. I, I like 154 CM a lot. It's kind of a good balance. It has good edge retention, um, but it's not as hard as some of the uh, higher steels, S30V, VG10, stuff like that. Um, so it, it doesn't hold an edge as long, but it's more than sufficient. And what you're getting with the uh, the little bit of lack of edge retention, you're you're also getting, um, uh, I would say, flexibility because it's not as hard. If you were to use this for a really hard substance, um, you know, maybe if you're cutting aluminum cans or something, uh, you're instead of the edge tending to chip, it, it more more or less it's going to roll over because a little bit of a softer steel, uh, it'll roll over or bend as opposed to chipping. And to have a roll in your edge is a lot easier to fix than to have a chip. Um, so, you know, it has its advantages and its disadvantages, but 154CM, uh, by far, a really, really good, uh, you know, everyday carry uh, steel to use, you know, for just general purpose, uh, utilitarian tasks. Um, really like that. And like I said, this, this knife specifically, just overall, it's really wicked looking. Um, it looks to be kind of a random cutout on the overlays, but all of them are identical. It's the exact same shape, and it is um, the same on both sides. Uh, so it's kind of like a mirror image there. This is a very, I have to note, this is a very thick, thick handle. You have a lot, a lot to hold on here. Um, a lot of people will like that. Some people won't. It's something you have to take into consideration here. It's very wide. Um, it's good because you can facilitate a really good grip on this, and you do have a lot to hold on to. Um, let me give you some specs on here. Now, I'm going to give you Benchmade specs, um, and they use a, uh, a point system. In other words, instead of, you know, three and a half, uh, inches they'll have 3.5 inches. That's just how they uh, they do it. Um, and it's a little bit. Off. I'll explain in just a second. Uh, all right, specs. The blade is 3.1 or excuse me, 3.45 inches. Uh, the closed position it's 4.66 inches, and overall it's 8 inches. Now I know you you might if you if you thought about that for a second you might go well that doesn't add up. Uh, the the blade and the handle. Um, <laughs> those together is more than 8 inches. And it is. It's a little bit of a slip up on Benchmade's part. In other words, 3.45 inch blade and a 4.66 inch handle is going to come over 8 inches, which they have as the overall length. It's actually going to be, let's see, uh, 0.45 and 0.66. Uh, you add those together, it's going to be 1.11. So it's really 8.11 inches um, overall if you go by their you know open and closed uh, specs <laughs> but but it you know it's very minute differences but I just did want to uh, you know take note of that and let you guys let you guys know that um, I really like this knife like I said the access lock video I do take it apart um, you know it's it's the access lock itself is not it's not overly complicated it's just when taking it apart to clean it and uh, stuff like that you really just have to pay attention to what you're doing so you put it back together properly so it functions you know as it would if the knife was new um, what I've noticed in this knife specifically actually which I did not mention when I took it apart is that there's actually another spot here these there's these little um spacers okay aluminum spacers and there's actually another uh, there's a, a screw hole tapped in um, on top and bottom to, to actually add another spacer now I got this knife uh, second hand so I'm not sure if actually there was four spacers um, originally and one was removed maybe by the owner uh, or if perhaps that gives you the option to change what type of uh, you know positions these are in you know if you were to move this one over you know maybe for um, for aesthetics purposes or you know I don't know because uh, it's kind of confusing because I'm not sure if it comes like that so I have to say if you if you own this knife um, the 420 if you can please just uh, you know down there in the comment box, leave me a message and let me know if you have four um, spacers or if you just have three. Because this one just has the three, but it is tapped out uh, to accept another one in there. So a little confusing on that. I wasn't really sure if that's how it comes original. Uh, I was trying to look at pictures, but I couldn't find a good picture of the back of the knife like this. Um, but I like it. I like it a lot. Clips easy to use because of the cutout. It's really easy to, you know, get in and out of the pocket. It's not too tight. Um, overall, it's a really nice knife. I really like it. Um, that is the Benchmade Model 420 uh, resistor. So once again, thank you very much for your time. I apologize for the late review and the uh, wasted wasted minutes in the early uh, part of this review explaining my camera situation. Uh, <laughs> but what can you do, right? Thanks again. You take care.